everyone, Nick Brzezinski here with our D3 cam tech tip. Today we're going to take a look at extending surfaces in order to um, drive our tool path to follow a certain contour or surface. In this case I'm wanting to do a finish pass on this channel down here but I want to continue our tool path and extend it with the same radius as the given surface here. So I'm going to use parallel and Let's just create a tool path real quick and I'll show you the issue that I'm having. So with this half inch end mill, uh, one way you can try and do it is avoid touch surface. Say touch surface, choose that area, and it'll create a tool path along there. But what you see is it flattens out along the top and then just wraps over that edge. What I want to do is continue the same contour as our surface down here. So let me show you another method. Instead of using that, we could try it with a boundary. So I'll do a selection boundary here, pick that edge, and say, well, if I keep it at tool center boundary, you'll see the issue is it tries to wrap up on top of the adjacent edges. If I say tool inside boundary, and let me just add a few more passes here. And remember our parallel always goes with X, so it is going the correct direction here, but you can see it stops short of the edge and we're not continuing that tool path like I want to. So, the way we're gonna do this is actually jump into the patch environment. So I'm gonna come up here to our cam, drop down to patch, and first thing we're gonna do is create a patch. So for this, I'm gonna select a closed loop boundary, just like that, and it's creating a new body, which is a surface body, and you can kind of see it there on the exact surface. And then I'm gonna come over to modify, the modify drop down and say extend. I'm going to pick that edge and let me just ex exaggerate it here a little bit and look at it from the side. And you can see it follows that same radius as our surface down below. So I don't need to extend it this far. Let's just go, uh, I don't know, 20 millimeters on that side and I'm going to do the same thing to the other side. and say OK. So now we've got an actual surface that I can, can control my tool path inside and keep that same contour as our the shape of our solid body. So now I'm going to jump back into the cam environment and I'm just going to edit or modify this tool path here. Go to our selection chain and now I'm actually going to select the boundary patch and then I'm also going to come down here well let me just show you what happens if I just say okay at this point it still follows our model and it extended the tool path but you see how it drops down it doesn't even see our surface there so this is where you need to come down into the geometry turn on our model and add that model surface to the tool path calculation and say okay and now you can see our tool path stays inside that boundary follows it that's exactly what I was looking for so Hopefully this helps you guys. If you're needing to extend your tool path a little bit in one area or another, you can use that patch environment to help you out with Infusion 360. See you next time. Thanks.